Welcome back guys, and uh, this week, as you can tell by the title card, we're looking at the Beretta DT11. The DT11 is of course Beretta's flagship sporter, stroke, uh, all target, well, you'll see when I talk about the model ranges, it's their top of the line um, clay smashing tool. Um, it starts with the Beretta DT11. Um, as you can see, there's the rather distinctive uh, blue um, line on the action that follows the uh, the action fence where the side plate would be um, in this matte and silver and blue um, pattern. The basic DT11 is a sporter stroke skeet gun, um, flat rib, non adjustable stock, um, but you do get obviously the uh, detachable trigger mechanism, hence DT, um, and that's available in two or three grades. So you've got the basic DT11, then you've got the DT11L and the double E L, which have increasingly fancy engraving and nice wood. <coughs> However, they all follow the same design ethos in that they're a, a rather traditional sporting shotgun. Then there's the DT11 Black. The DT11 Black is obviously in shades of black. It's got matte black barrels, a matte and shiny black action, a carbon rib with a really heavy um, knurl on it. Um, it's, it's very pretty if you like that sort of really understated black um, kind of design ethos. Um, but it's quite light at the front. Um, obviously the carbon rib, meaning that the weights are a little bit different in terms of the setup. And um, it handles a little bit more lively than the uh, standard DT11. Also in the lineup, you've got the X Trap. So starting at the sort of the top of the high rib ones, um, big high trap rib, Monte Carlo stock, fully adjustable, designed for trap shooters, trap ABT, etc. Um, then you've got the ACS. The ACS has a um, adjustable ramped rib, um, designed as an uh, all competition shotgun, so that you can adjust the point of impact. Um, again, it has an adjustable Monte stock, but um, not as extreme as the X Trap. So the DC11. The, uh, the highly engraved L and E double L, um, the black, the ACS, uh, and the extra. <laughs> All the models in the range. This is Beretta's flagship clay smashing tool, and by crikey, when you handle one of these things, you can tell. Um, the actual um, the jointing in the gun, um, obviously it's empty, is very similar to other Berettas in the range, but where it really feels different is the lockup and in the width of the receiver. Um, the action fences, as you can see when you pop the gun open, are great big thick, um, very sort of heavyweight things. Um, the breech face itself has a lot of surface area. It's a big, heavy tool designed for a lot of heavy use. Um, the major difference between this and other guns in the Beretta range is the lockup. Um, this has a cross bolt, which you can see when you open the gun. The cross bolt actually comes out to the left and these two lugs on the front of the breech face um, are what lock up when you close the gun. It's an enormously strong system and when you close it, you really kind of, it, does, it feels like you're closing a bank vault. It's um, really sort of confidence inspiring when you shut this gun. It feels like it's going to last forever. It's um, a great big um, meaty thing. All of this weight in the receiver does mean that there's a lot of weight in between your hands. Um, it makes for a very neutrally balanced gun. and um, it generally moves very, very nicely. This is a 30 inch, if I'm honest, I would prefer a 32. I find this kind of a little bit too light at the front, but then again, I'm used to waving around a, 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 a creek off. Um, that's my preference. Um, the stock is well figured. Nice pistol grip with a good palm swell. Uh, feels very, very nice in the hand. The, um, generally, it just feels kind of really nicely ergonomically designed. Finger treadle. Your finger falls nicely to the trigger. Um, it handles beautifully. Uh, the top lever, again, is um, angled slightly so that, again, it's designed to be sort of open and closed a lot. You are going to be putting a lot of rounds through this if you buy one. Um, everything about it is sort of um, designed around that sort of high throughput, um, really dependable um, monster of a thing. The beaver tail forend is well shaped. It's not overly fancy. It's a tool. It absolutely just does what it does. Comes up, points, moves, and, uh, and breaks things. The trigger pull definitely stands out on the DT11. It has leaf springs. If you look at the detachable trigger mechanism, um, it certainly has a, a touch of the Parazzi about it in that it's got those um, leaf springs, and the trigger pulls are absolutely excellent. 
Um, I don't know what it breaks at, but it doesn't feel like more than about three and a half pounds, and it's extremely crisp. Um, all in all, a really, really tight and nice package to shoot. Um, the, um, the gun itself, I mean, what can you say? It really is a superb um, sporting tool. I've gotten on really well with it. Um, very, very nice. Um, the barrels are, uh, unlike the DT-10, are made from this steelium alloy with the long forcing cones that's meant to um, uh, give you a very, very progressive recoil impulse. Um, obviously the uh, Optimer Extended Chokes. Um, the ventilated mid-rib only obviously comes so far down the barrels. Obviously this is a weight saving um, exercise. And just Everything about it says business. This is a gun that when you pull it out of the strip, it, it, it's, it's designed for breaking clays. But then again, I can't see you pulling one of these out on the game line and being, um, um, it's obviously a shunned. It's, um, it's a lovely thing. The rib on this gun is a tapered 10 to 8 mil um, target rib with a white front bead, no mid bead, as is fairly common with Berettas. Um, it does the job, it doesn't get in the way, it's just an extremely functional looking and operating tool, I think is probably the best way to put it. Um, I genuinely cannot think of a bad thing to say about this gun, um, it's superb. If you've got the, uh, the wherewithal to uh, drop the money on one of these things, you are not going to be disappointed, it really is uh, a testament to uh, Beretta's sort of excellence in this area. Um, there's a reason why people win, um, or shall we say, there's a reason why so many of these guns are in the hands of winners in the various um, disciplines in which uh, Beretta compete. In terms of price point, the DT-11 starts at around about £7,200 and goes up to, well, the black is around £8,400 um, and there are varying different prices that you can pay depending on the grade of wood and whether or not you go for the ACS or the x etc. etc. Um, and as such, it's sort of right up there against the uh, MX-8, MX-12. And to be honest, um, in that sort of neck of the woods, you, you are looking at a sort of a serious um, sporting tool. You're probably going to compete. And it's really, I'm not going to get into a debate about which one's best. It's um, very much going to be down to personal preference, aesthetics, um, whether or not you have any brand loyalty, and um, just what you generally prefer to handle. Um, you're not going to be disappointed with either. Um, they're, they're both uh, absolutely fantastic tools and if you shoot clays then um, it's, it's really going to be one of these, an MX-8, an MX-12, a Kriegoff, you know, Blaza, you, it's, it's that group of guns and it's, it's a personal preference thing. Um, in terms of resale value, you're not going to lose money or a huge amount of money on one. They seem to sort of have a really strong um, uh, resale value and the depreciation isn't a worry, obviously you're going to lose the VAT on a new one but um, with most of these guns again you, you're not buying into something that you're going to lose a, a, a ton on. Um, second hand I think that they're a, a great prospect much as most of the guns in that, in that region are. Um, these I think weather very very well. This gun has actually um, been in and out of the gun room a few times I gather um, and has had several owners and still looks and feels great. Um, it's certainly had quite a few rounds through it and it just, it still has that sort of tank like feel, there's nothing loose about it, it really is, you know, a smashing tool. Um, so yeah, the Beretta DT11. Um, thanks for tuning in again all you guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos, please subscribe if you do, um, share, um, follow me on Instagram um, and you'll see some... Uh, Sort of sneak peeks as to what I'll be doing as I tend to sort of photograph uh, the guns that I'm looking at before I actually post them. Um, and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks again, everybody, and uh, see you next time.